when you're multiplying decimals, just like adding and subtracting, we want to align them vertically and align the decimals. 8.26 times 0.43. The other thing that is similar to subtraction, always make sure you have the smaller of your two decimals below. Okay? You wouldn't want to rewrite this as 0.43 and then times the 8.26. Um, All right. So when you're identifying how to multiply, always make sure you choose the smaller of the two to be below, to be on the bottom. All right. Then when we multiply, we're just going to follow the same algorithm that we've done before for multiplication of multi-digits. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1 over. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 times 8 is um, 24. Then again, we need to do our placeholder right. So I'll put a 0 for my placeholder. Erase the rest of my remainders. That's why having pencils is very helpful. 4 times 6 is 24. 4, bring over the 2. 4 times 8 is, um, oh, I'm sorry, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. And then 4 times 8 is 32, plus 1 is 33. Notice how I have not done anything with the decimal point yet, right? I'm not, we're not going to do this vertically like add and subtract. It's going to be a little bit different. Now we just add vertically. 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 4 is 28. 2, what? 7 plus 4 is 11. Thank you. I was getting back into my math, into my multiplying. 7 plus 4 is 11. 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then to bring down the 3. Now, to determine where to put the decimal point, what you simply do is count the number of places to the right of the decimal. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, you start all the way to the right and go over four place, hold, place values. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is your final answer. All right? F, um, FYI. Let's say the original problem was this. OK? Let's say it would look like that. You align the decimal points, you'd have to put that placement in there. So you'd have to put in a 0. Does that make sense? Just a little FYI. If the, if the number of decimals to, or the number of values to the right of the decimal aren't equal, you've got to make sure you add enough zeros so they are equal. And it'd still be 4, though. OK? Just a little quick tip. <laughs>